I came to United States back in 2015. Since I, the day I got here, I've been helping people. I am intern at IRC, Immigrant Refugee Center. We help with like uh, applying for citizenship, applying for a green card. We also help them with like paperwork. We do literally everything here. I choose to participate in this intern because I feel connected with my community and I get to work with my community people and other people as well. But mostly I work with a Rohingya client. She's been a tremendous help with the Rohingya clients workload that we're having and we're expecting a lot more in, the, in this physical year of 2023. I admire her work. I think I really um, see her going, inspiring other people as well, precisely women. Um, because of the culture dynamic, I think we're missing that piece, women representing the, the community itself. I grew up in a community where um, women get less education. And for me to get education, I would say, I want to encourage people and other females as well to get educated because I think education is a very important thing in life and I believe that if you don't have education, you don't have nothing basically. Well, I was born in Burma, so I do speak Rohingya and then I moved to Malaysia, I speak Malay. English was my third language. I taught myself English when I came here because no one in my family know how to read and write and it's all me by myself who have to put myself like through all this situation until I get knowledge and education. Not everyone speak English, not everyone is educated, not everyone know how to read and write. I know how to read and write, I know how to speak their language and I feel proud of myself that I could speak their language so I could help them because not everyone know everything here in the United States. They are new and I feel proud I could help them.